And look, all you passport bros and passport hoes, y'all might need to find y'all way down there. Because there's a lot of beautiful, it's a lot of beautiful people down there. And they love American, American women and American men. Yeah, passport bros and passport hoes. Anyway, is, uh, I mean, this is how beautiful it is. You can see all the scenery, but this castle itself, I think it's like five, 500 years old i mean they built this right when christopher columbus came over they built this cathedral now it's not a castle sorry it's a cathedral yeah it's in the center of uh downtown in Iwe. yeah it's player but anyway i need to learn how to fight this drone that's what i need to do yeah, this castle, this castle is 500 years old. I mean, this cathedral, this cathedral is 500 years old, man. I mean, it's very beautiful. I, I'll send, I'll try to put the link in the description of where, of where this stuff is. Uh, the cathedral in Iwe. It's been rebuilt a couple times, but this bad boy is 500 years old. All right, this is the city of Iwe. The mountains in the back, and right there, the big that big church in the middle. There's a cathedral. It's what I think it's the biggest one in the Dominican Republic. One of the biggest ones in the world. Uh, I saw the Pope there, man. And it is. It, I mean, this is the city. I mean, it's Iwe, the Republic of Dominica, Republic Dominica. The Republic is it's the city of Hiwe. It's, it's spelled, yeah, it's in the Dominican Republic. It is lovely, man. Great food, great times. And look, all you passport bros and passport hoes, y'all might need to find y'all way down there. Because there's a lot of beautiful, it's a lot of beautiful people down there. And they love American, American women and American men. Yeah, passport bros and passport hoes. Look how lovely that is on a beautiful day in Eway. Yeah, that's the that's all right, and that's that highway where they were popping those wheel that's that road that they were popping those wheelies on. Right there at night. Alright, this is Basilica. This is the that huge cathedral there. You know, it's you know, it's a very religious place there. You know, a lot of people go to church, and I mean, it's one of the most beautiful uh, buildings. It's one of the, one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. It is gorgeous. It's on the. It's actually on the Dominican fifty dollar bill. If you can go, if you all want to Google search the Dominican money, it's 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 on the uh, Dominican fifty dollar. Look at the city. It's on a beautiful, clear day. I actually saw, I think that's the day the Pope went in there. I saw a Pope, so somebody had the little Pope hats. Yeah, I was just like, oh Lord, they got the Pope in there. The, the security's trying to kick me out for flying the drone. Somebody showed up in a helicopter in the whole nine. There's a heliport back there over there. Basilica. Is that solar panel? All right, looks like I'm about to land it because I think I know I was, I was standing somewhere over there. <laughs> I mean, it's a, a humongous cathedral. One of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen in my life. I mean, great architecture. I think it was built in the 70s. I think it took them like five years to build that thing. But it is amazing. Basilica and Iwe. Yeah, there's a heliport over there. I saw I saw somebody I saw somebody come over there to go to church in a helicopter. Big ball, a big boss type stuff. That's going down into downtown. Into the well, I, they don't call it downtown. It's like the central. 
the central part of the city. It's a beautiful city with mountains in the back. Basilica. I mean, what a beautiful building. I think I circled it. I can, I see myself down there flying a drone. <laughs> That's me right there, the little speck in all black. Oh, oh yeah, this is the one I almost flew it into the building. I had to... Yeah. That's a that's a gorgeous that's if you if you can stop by and check that building out, I would man. I'll I'll try to leave the coordinates uh of the building in the uh description for you all. Oh, I'm about to land the drone now, I see it going down. Okay. Uh and I'm here to react to my uh, my video about uh, when I was in the Dominican Republic. Now, I was in a, a, t a town called Iwe. Now, uh, so on Sundays, they get on motorcycles, and they just have like this show or something. And they just pop wheelies. They have girls on the bikes and stuff like that. Now, for some reason, it's illegal or something. And the cops grabbed them in the bikes. And, and and start and just start confiscating the bikes. Now, I was sitting on the corner right there just watching the show, and one dude popped a I wish I would have caught it, but I didn't right before I record, one dude popped a wheelie and ran into a car. And I was like, okay, I'm finna start recording. So anyway, uh let's let me let's react to the video so I can show y'all what y'all seen. I, if y'all, you know, saw it or not, let me see if I can close this, close that. Make it a little bit bigger for y'all. All right, let's go here. So, I think the police are supposed to take those motorcycles. I'm recording. I don't know what I'm doing here. So the cops are sitting here. They're 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 confiscating bikes. I don't know if they do it as legally or illegally. There's one for the bikes and there's one for the jail. For is the jail. They put they put in a they put in a person in one one cage and uh, the bikes in the other. And I mean, over there in that place, man, there'd be four, five people on the bike sometimes. Let me fast forward. Because I know I walked across the street and got a better shot. Yeah, the cops are just snagging those bikes, man. Yeah, they confiscate them. And I mean, those people, man, those people don't have a whole lot of money, so that bike is pretty much all the transportation that they have. And that's that's pretty sad when the cops take your bike. I don't know if they take them temporarily or permanently. I don't know. I'm just, you know. 
I mean, the cops are only still spikes, man. Got the bike, the cop, the cop that took off with the bike. I don't know if they give him back or not, man. Look, look, that's that's nothing but bikes on one end. I think they got what the, they got people in the other. Come get the bikes. Okay, so now I'm gonna fast forward to y'all so y'all can see. I think, uh, so I'm gonna go, I, I walk around the corner. Okay, so this is when they tried to take my phone because I was sitting there recording the people sitting in, inside of uh, at the gas station. I was sitting there recording the, them putting the people in, 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 the, in the jail, in the mobile jails or whatever you call it. Paddy wagons, I don't know. Yeah, he took my phone. Okay, right there, he took my phone. And I had to give him my identification. And I had to, I told him, you know, since I'm part of the press, they had to let me go with my equipment. Well, they didn't have to do nothing. They scared because I was American. And they know that if you deal with the American citizens down there, you know, you got a big problem. And then when the people saw that, they 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 kind of welcomed me in. They knew I was, you know, I wasn't the police. So I get I get to a different place, a little bit safer place, so I can record. Yeah, he's talking too fast for me to understand him. Yeah, I put the little young, I put the little young, I put the little young G's on YouTube. I put the little young G's on YouTube. Okay, let me fast forward. Because when the cops leave, they, I'm going to show you why and how what was going on. One dude tried to yank my cell phone out of my hand. You didn't see that? Boy, these are thirsty niggas. Yeah, right here. He's gonna try to yank my phone out of my hand. Right there. I wouldn't nothing I could do if you got it, man. <laughs> nothing I could do if you got it. 
I want to go chase it. And they will take your phone out here. Yeah, this is decent, decent, decent hooligans in the Dominican Republic. They, they, they can, they can come up with a quick come up. Let me see if I can fast forward to it and get some action. Cause they finna start popping willies again. Fast forward a little bit. I'm gonna try to show you how they. Speeding off, they don't want them to do that and pop these wheelies and stuff. But they do it every Sunday, from what I hear. And they try to they try to ride, a, they try to pop a wheelie and go far, go as long as they can. And they go like three or four blocks. I mean, I mean, they pop wheelies on mopeds and everything. They can really drive those bikes. Okay, I go across the street. Back. Let me try to find them what, uh, what, what they're doing. Yeah, I gotta watch out, I don't get hit. So they finna start that up. So, yeah, they don't wanna pop the wheelies on the bike. I'm telling you, I saw one dude ride that wheelie. He was going for about a couple blocks and ran right to a car. Bam! All the ladies and the women be out there sitting out there watching, man. You pop a good wheelie, man. They go, you get, you know. They go another one. Okay, they gonna crank it up right here. Because they all trying to wait to find a place where they can go. And I think they probably send scouts out to make sure that nobody uh do anything. I mean, they, they, they send scouts out to see if they're in the police around. I'm glad I wasn't driving out there in that thing. They been crazy. Who she was sexy in the back of that place? Like a whole lot more people there, man. But they threw a lot of them. And, and, and they threw, they took a lot of them to jail. If I go there again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go live again. And I think I am gonna go back down. Popping them wheelies. I sat there and recorded for a while. So but anyway, now y'all get it, what goes on over there in that DR. They go live out there, man. I like that place, it's real cool. Yeah, see, he, he can ride them. They ride them for like a, a few blocks. I didn't even know they could do that on the, most of those guys have motor, uh, they do motor culture, motor, motor culture, which is like a moto taxi. And they just, they just drive people all around the city. For a living. I mean, they popping wheelies all night. Man, he was on the, he was, he was on the open pop. So yeah, all of that, for some reason, they don't like, the cops don't like them doing that. Man, 
don't feel like I'm doing that, man. So, they be taking them to jail. They feel it. And they just make a U-turn to come back and pop it up. They be having, yeah, they be having, it'll be, it'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be a dude on the bike. It'll be a bad bitch on the back of that, too. She like an eight out of ten. He popping a wheelie and that ass just taking for I was like, oh, okay, I kind of feel what they doing out there. You know what I'm saying? That's their little culture, you know? I like it, man. Hey, well, they take them to jail. Oh, man, I just wanted to show y'all what was going on in E-Way. Yeah, e he got a pocket good one. All right, I'm out again.